Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I had a pretty good anniversary weekend. Mr. Daniel's been married for 27 years. That's three cubed, three times three times three. Those of you who paid attention to the warm up last Friday learned what cubed means. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, it wasn't the same as uh, last year, my anniversary. I went to Las Vegas and got to see Carlos Santana and Van Morrison back to back nights. This year on anniversary, went to uh, Shiloh Park two nights in a row, right? Right here uh, in Windsor, uh, or right at the edge of Windsor. Uh, got me some good uh, uh, Red Bee barbecue on Friday night and got me some tummy tie last night. Uh, yeah, life is good, right? Numbers keep coming down for COVID. This is your warm up. You know what to do. Copy right down, press pause, and then go see it. See if you did, okay? Now, habla espanol. Habla mathish, right? You got to speak mathish on this. Um, I'm going to zoom into this a little bit and let you pause and then uh, copy those down, right? Go ahead and hit pause and copy those down. Uh, I will go through the words real quick. By, agon, quad, lateral, poly, pent, hex. And these are all parts of words, and if I put the dash in front of it, it that means uh, often, okay, the, the other part of the word goes in front, but not always. Cent could be per cent, but it can also be centennial or centurion or centimeter, right? All right, um, so, and these are just full words. So copy those down, see, see how you, you did, and then I will see you soon. Okay, welcome back everybody. Let's zoom out so we can see the whole thing and get up there and get those diamonds, right? Uh, what two numbers have a product of 80 and a sum of 24? That means you multiply to get 80 and you add to get 24. That's going to be 20 times 4. How about 60 and 19? That's going to be 4 times 15, right? I always think of a clock, 4 15s makes 60, right? Each 15 is a quarter of an hour. A fourth of an hour. A lot of people get confused on that when they first start doing these. Um, they think a quarter must be 25 minutes. No, it's 15 minutes because it means a fourth. All right. So a fourth of a dollar is 25 cents. That's how that 25 comes in. Four and eight tenths, five and two tenths. What's going to work there? This is another four. And now it's one and two tenths. Remember when you go add, where's the decimal in the four? Because I got to line up those decimals. Okay. If there is no decimal, remember it lives on the end and it's not needed. So I can put a zero. Four equals 4.0. Now when I add the 1.2, I know how to line up those decimals and I get the correct sum, 5.2. When I multiply, my job is to pretend there, pretend there isn't a decimal and go, go ahead and multiply. Four times 12 is 48. However, in order to pretend to pretend there's, there was no decimal here, I had to move it over here and treat it like a 12, right? In my answer, I have to go back one space, all right, to fix that. All right, how are you doing so far? How'd you, did I stump you on this next one? Six and five and a half? Yeah, common theme here, quattro, right? Four times one and one half. We have four times 15. Well, four times one and one half is the same as four times 1.5. That's going to be four times 15 is 60, but move it over. That'll be six. But if I just think of fractions and split this up, I'll do four times one, which is four, and four times a half, which is four halves, which is the same as two. Two and four is six. And four plus one and a half, five and a half. Okay? All right. Two names. For each triangle. Now, George and Martha are not the names we're talking about, right? Okay, I do notice that these two sides are the same, okay? And if two sides are the same, that triangle is isosceles. So one way, uh, and I think there's a C in there. Oops, sorry about that. Isosceles. Oh. I saw 
Isosceles. I gotta look that one up. I'm spacing out. On isosceles triangle. It might be another S. That just doesn't look right. And the other thing is that angle right there, that little symbol means that that is a right angle or a 90 degree angle. So this is also a right triangle, isosceles and right. Okay. Now this one, all three angles are smaller than 90 degrees. So all three angles are sharper than 90 degrees. So you would call that triangle an acute triangle. Now it doesn't matter if it has two, right? Every triangle has at least two sharp angles, acute angles, right? Uh, it has to have all three in order to call that triangle acute. I do also notice that two of these are 12 meters, so that is also isosceles. Let's try this, see if that like, looks any better. Still doesn't look quite right, I don't know. All right, now this next one, all three are different, and if all three sides are different, that's called a scalene triangle. But see this angle here? If you had to get poked with any angle on this page, you're thinking, I want to get poked with that one, right? Because it's the least sharp. It is obtuse, right? Obtuse is dull, right? If someone says you're obtuse, that means they think you're dull. Not very sharp, right? A little bit boring. Yeah, but if they call you acute, they're not thinking, they, they're not thinking that they like your little dimples or something, right? Or your big puppy dog eyes. What they're saying is you're smart, sharp, acute. That means smart, okay? All right, all right, let's do these uh, next uh, generic rectangles, right? Now, if this is 20 and this is 8,000, I know that I'm gonna have a four up here, and one of those zeros comes from here, so I need two more zeros. I put 40, but I need another one. That's gonna be 400. Kind of makes sense, I got three Columns, I'm going to have something in the 100, something in the 10, something in the ones here, right? All right. Now, if this is 20 and this is 60, I'm going to go 2 times 6 and move the decimal over two spots and that fill in two zeros. That's 1,200. Now, if this is 20 and this is 40, this must be a 2. And if this is 60 and this is 240, this must be a 4. And if I have a four here, 400, four times four is 16, move the decimal over two spots, and four times two is eight. Now I go add all my products, right? That's a product of 420, that's a product of 60 and 20, right? Add all my products, those are the answers in each box, right? 1200, whoops, 1200, that's a two. Let's let's rewrite this. Right. And forty, and eight, and two hundred and forty, and sixteen hundred. Now, this is not the neatest job here. I got to make sure that I keep things in the right place. Zero 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 and the eight. Now zero 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 four and a four and a zero. And then I got two hundreds, another two and a six, so four, that's 10. Carry the one. One, one, eight is 10 plus one more. 11, so I get 11,088. Now, what's the number here? 462. What's the number here? 24. 462 and 24. I like to double check work. Right, so I'm just gonna do it the standard algorithm. See if I get the same thing. Four times two is eight, four times six is 24, carry the two, and four times four is 16, plus two is 18. Now I put a placeholder, because this is really 20, not two. Cross that out so I don't get confused. Two times two is four, two times six is 12, carry the one, and two times four is eight, plus one is nine. I got eight, eight, 10, carry the 1, 11,088, that's what we got. Two lines underneath uh, a number is an accounting way of saying that's my total total, not a subtotal, that's, the, that's it, right? You can circle your answer too. All right, now we're doing a generic rectangle, but we're doing with 
mixed numbers. That's whole numbers and fractions. Okay, but you're doing it the same way. Three times what is six? Three times two. Three times one fourth is the same as three over one times one over four. So that's three fourths. All right? Multiplying fractions is what? Easy. One fourth times what is one eighth? Well, let's put it here. Okay, four times what is eight? One times what is one? So that's going to be a half. And one half times two is two halves or one whole. Okay, now I got to go add. I got six. I have one. I have three fourths. I'm going to just go and write it up there. And one eighth. Okay, now I need to get a common denominator. I'm lucky because four goes into eight. So I'm leaving this eighth as it's one eighth, but I'm going to change the three fourths to six eighths. Six eighths and one eighth is seven eighths, and six and one is seven. Seven and seven eighths. Now this is three and a half and two and a fourth. I'm going to show you the other way of doing mixed numbers. Okay, and it's not too bad with this one because these numbers aren't that big. But use the C method to make these improper. Remember how to do that? 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So 3 and 1 half is the same as 7 halves. If you had 7 half dollars, you'd have 3 and a half dollars. And 2 and 1 fourth is the same as 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. Nine fourths, nine quarters is two and a quarter dollars. Okay, now I can multiply. Seven times nine is 63. Two times four is eight. Now if that's improper. How do you fix it? Divide the bottom into the top. Eight times eight, 64. Almost fit, huh? So I'm going to go eight times seven, and that's 56. Now remember what I do here? My remainder goes on top. What was on the bottom when I started goes on the bottom. Seven and seven eighths. Ding, 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 ding. Cowbell. Plug your ears. Woohoo! Good job. All right. Abla uh, Matish. Okay, what do these words or parts of words mean? Well, by means two. Agon means angle. A N G A N G. Not in the same order, but angle. Quad means four, quattro, uno, dos, tres, quattro, right? Lateral means side. Bilateral means there's two sides. Trilateral means there's three sides. A quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. Poly means many. That's not an exact number. It's just more than two, right? It's a bunch, right? Many. So a polygon is a shape that has many angles. Could it have three? Yeah. Triangle is a polygon. Could it have four? Yeah. Quadrilateral is a, a polygon. Pent means five. So a pentagon is a polygon. Hex means six. Cent means 100. I don't know what you're saying. How come you didn't say oct? Right? Oct means eight, right? DEC. A decade is 10 years. A decimeter, there are 10 of them in a meter. A decameter is 10 meters. Okay. What does of mean? Multiply. Well, not always, but here we are in math. What does is mean? Equal, right? The sum of three and four is seven. Sum, that means addition. Difference is subtraction. Now, I'm uh, using another word for these definitions for all three. Okay. What's the uh, word that goes on the end of all three of these? Answer. The answer to a, an addition problem is a sum. The answer to a, to a subtraction problem is a difference. The answer to a multiplication problem is a product. Okay. All right, what's my goal for this problem? My goal is to get the answer, get the x by itself on one side equal sign. And what do we call that? Isolate the variable. 
isolate the variable, right? And in order, that means to get the letter by itself, right? In order to do that, I got to get rid of a, not just a two and one fourth, but a minus two and one fourth. How do you get rid of a minus two and one fourth? Well, you do the inverse operation. Inverse is the opposite, right? The opposite of minus two and one fourth is plus two and one fourth. But if I do it to this side, I better do the same exact thing to the other side. Okay, now these are opposites, so they cancel each other out. All that's left on this side is eight and eight tenths minus two and one fourth. Uh oh, how am I going to do that? Let's go ahead and change. 8 tenths to 8 tenths. Okay, 8 and 8 tenths. Let's do that on the back where we got more room. Now, what number do 4 and 10 both go into? Well, 20, right? Could have said 40, but 20 is smaller. Here I did 10 times 2 to get 20. I go 8 times 2. Here I did 4 times 5 to get 20. I go 1 times 5. And 16 20ths and 5 20ths is, e whoops, is 21 20ths. And 8 and 2 is 10. Now, 10 and 21 20ths, I'm going to use 20 of those 20ths to make one more, right? So I'm going to carry. That's 11. If I use 20 of those 21, I got one left. 11 and 1 20th. Now, are you done? Woohoo, cow belt. No, if you're smart, you're gonna go substitute. If I can substitute x equals 11 and 1 20th, I should be able to substitute and have this be true. So 11 and 1 20th minus 2 and 1 4th. Four goes into 20. Okay, now here's the hard part. Now watch this. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 times 5. I'm trying to take 1 20th away from, uh, 5 20th away from 1 20th. I can't do that unless you do what? Got to borrow. That 11 becomes a 10. I'm not putting a 1 there. I didn't get 10 more 20th. 1 whole equals 20 20th. 20 plus 1 equals 21. 21 20th minus 5 20th is 16 20th. And 10 minus 2 is 8. 16 20th can simplify to 8 tenths, which is 8 tenths. Now, if I was really simplifying this, leaving this a fraction, I would have kept simplifying, right? Instead of 8 and 4 fifths. 4 fifths is the same as 8 tenths. Boom, you got it right. All right, off to a great start this week. Keep it up. Do this warm-up every day, right? Have a good Monday, everybody.